Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box. Probably Gangster Times. stories where backpackers go to South America. Someone hands them a card, but it's soaked with a drug. This drug instantly gets absorbed in your skin. And it makes you fall into a zombie-like state where you'll do anything for your attacker. From go to the cash point and empty out your bank account to pull the trigger on someone you don't even know. This drug is Burundanga or Scopolamine and it's derived from the nightshade plants and it's used by criminals in Colombia and Ecuador. And it's believed that this drug is said to remove a person's free will. And in Colombia, it's also known as the devil's breath and it's been described as the most dangerous drug in the world. Why am I mentioning this? Because previously in October, I reported on a story where a man sadly passed away because somebody had given him devil's breath in London. And I've got an update on that story now. So the man poisoned a dancer with a drug known as Devil's Breath and robbed him after entrapping him through a fake dating app profile has been handed a life sentence with a minimum term of 32 years. Joel Osei, who's 26 years old, killed a 43-year-old Irishman, Adrian Murphy, in the summer of 2019 with an overdose of scopolamine. But he was on a one-year-long sabbatical when he died. Osai and his ex-girlfriend and co-defendant Dania Cristiru, who's 19, targeted men on the dating app grinder to rob them of their valuables and drain their bank accounts. So after killing Mr. Murphy, the couple attempted to buy £62,000 worth of diamonds in New York and Mr. Murphy's body was discovered by his best friend and his former partner. So his phone had been thrown down the toilet while a can of Coca-Cola was found to contain traces of scopolamine and Osai's fingerprints were discovered on a bottle of whiskey which was left at the scene. Toxicology tests revealed the concentration of scopolamine in Mr. Murphy's body was many times the level consistent with a fatal overdose. So Christiera and Osei, who had previously been living in Curswell Close in Seven Sisters, North London, were both convicted of murder in October. So I'll put the link in the description below to the video when I reported on that. Mr. Justice William Davis said, your expectation was shame and embarrassment on the part of those victims would mean in all likelihood they would not report it. The judge said Osai had researched scopolamine adding, you gave Mr Murphy quite deliberately a significant dose of the drug, which you know could cause death. That much was said in clear terms in the first piece of literature you looked at. He continued, you left him dying there. And what did you do then? You set about using his debit and credit cards, which you had stolen. So Mr Murphy's family member spoke in court, saying he was a beautiful man inside and out and only wanted to make people happy. He said to his murderers, you have stolen my brother from me. You have ripped half of me away. A person who will never recover from this. Not wish this pain on anyone, not even you two. And his brother said he had a hero's legacy and was widely popular, with a successful international career as a dancer. He said the verdict does not fill us with joy or relief because we will not get our Adrian back. So Christia and Osai were also convicted of poisoning a second man with the same drug two days earlier. And Osai was also given a concurrent sentence of five years in prison for administrating a poison or noxious substance sold to us to endanger life but no separate penalty for multiple counts of theft and fraud. The surviving victim woke up in hospital to find items including his wallets, bank cards and two laptops had been stolen. He said the attack was horrific and humiliating and he said the attack made me insecure and I'm not quite sure how life will ever be the same. So I just want to say rest in peace to the victim and my condolences go out to the family. But it's absolutely crazy how this devil's breath is on the streets of the UK. Because it's not a drug you can buy on the streets in a way you might buy some other psychoactive substances or highs. It's not available in that sense because it's not a drug you'd want to take for a pleasurable purpose. It's actually horrible stuff. And I watched a few documentaries on it and when... You know, people are given these in experiments. It makes the mouth dry, pupils constrict. High doses are completely incapacitating. It makes people into zombies. It makes them lose their free will. And they'll literally do whatever you ask them to do. Absolute madness. Just stay safe out there, guys. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.